James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matching. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You're such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just... I didn't mean to... You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's life. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard, a good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, 
For infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh... I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. Forget it. So, you and Edie. Well, yeah. What do you think? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? That's always a risk. But then, so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis. And a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... Ugh. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hotspots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which... Thanks. I didn't think my guys could cut it. I wanted to put them in the back ranks. But you believed. And you were right. They're kicking ass. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. anything yet. That's a start. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving. 
landing at docking bay D-24. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone. And may I ask why you think your deployment... I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with... Uh... Any operation we have going. Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Ready for the next mission? I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Just in a tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Kenneth is still installing the thermal conduit down in the crawl space. We'll have a report later. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Do what you... 